Welcome, folks, to Ark Survival Evolved 2021, the complete beginner's guide with some tips and tricks, folks. Okay, folks, right off the bat, when you're starting out, this is going to be the menu you see. The top right of your screen is Arc News, and that's always going to help you out with events and uh, any announcements or news that may pertain to you uh, playing of the game. Down in the bottom right, as you can see, is Game Modes. There is the Normal Survival Evolved and primitive plus official which not a lot of people play but it is a really cool game mode that adds a lot of cool ingrams to the game i highly recommend trying that out if you don't or if you haven't i would start on the normal survival evolved first but if you do want to see the primitive plus we are actually playing that in the let's play series i will leave in the description okay so we are going to go right into options off the bat folks and what you're going to do is uh, we are going to, let's see if we can actually go back to default. There we go. So what we want to do is turn this way down right off the bat. You can see how loud it is. You need to turn it down. There we go. Um, you can change everything else. Um, but as a general, as a whole, I turn gamma way up. And that is so you can see at night. Some other options you might want to look off at is you can actually turn this down. I have a tendency to leave it up so I know when a big dino is near me, but it will get annoying. So you do probably want to turn that down or off depending on how much you play. Uh, join notifications always turn on. And if you use the Imperial system, uh, you may want to check this if you're from the US if you are a metric person leave that alone the then make sure when you're done you hit apply and save and exit oh hey right, now that you have your settings right you can either host and play single player or uh, have a couple friends play with you or you can go to arc and join servers there is going to be a ton of options. I believe there is nine maps and actually you can do procedurally generated as well, which is 10. Um, there is going to be a ton of options. So here is the map section. Once it loads up, you can pick your maps and you can pick your game mode over here, Ooh, right here. And it can be PVP, PVE. Uh, I will explain the differences folks I think down in uh, later in the video between PvE and PvP on some of your stuff your stats and builds and whatnot but essentially what you need to know is PvE is basically you versus the dinosaurs and bosses and PvP is you versus everybody on the map and the dinosaurs and bosses if you're new to absolutely brand new to the game I highly recommend PvE so you can get your feet under you Although PvP is a very fun experience uh, later on. Now remember down here on the bottom is your unofficial and official settings. And you generally want to play official to start out with. It kind of helps you learn. There is a lot of legs, so be careful with that. And if you have played on a server, just so you know how to get back, there will be a star next to it. Or you can add manually add it to favorites by highlighting it and then clicking the add to favorites this is what you're gonna see when you go to join a server uh, a lot of this actually isn't gonna matter if you're playing PvE it can make your player huge or you know or tiny actually if you're playing PvP though I do recommend building a smaller character as for the map I always start with uh, the island it's where it all started when I play started playing back here five and some change years ago uh, it has it's probably the easiest to learn on um, there are some maps that are extremely hard to starting out for brand new players like aberration and possibly scorched earth uh, so I do recommend that and I do recommend spawning in the south uh, south or west it doesn't really matter 
just you don't want to spawn in the north it is harder and you're gonna to want to change your survival name to something besides human all right so we're gonna spawn into the game now folks as you spawn in I do want you to know that <laughs> you are gonna die in arc quite a bit when you're first learning it it's just the way how it goes um, so let's go through the controls uh, your normal controls are all essentially the same with walking, jumping, um, and whatnot. But the one thing I want to mention is your hop bar. Down at the bottom of the screen, I'll use my handy dandy blue arrow. Uh, them are the slots to put tools and food and equipment, etc. down there to help you on your journey. And on the right hand of the screen, as you can see, uh, that the arrow is for your level ups how close you are to your next level the next one that is kind of grayed out if you can see it that is your weight the next one down is your thirst and hunger and then the lightning bolt is your stamina and the plus is your health okay folks so I do want to explain your character attributes or stats uh, most of these are pretty self-explanatory and what I do want to mention though is folks is on melee damage this does not affect your ranged weapons and one other bonus that it does actually affect is if you're using hand tools it will affect how much you harvest from uh, certain things crafting skill will increase uh, the quality of stuff and the speed that you craft it at and fortitude is how much temperature affects you, affects you and also how much torpidity affects you because you can get knocked out keep in mind folks everybody builds their character different and you should build your character how you want i'll give you some starting advice if you are playing pve you probably want to go heavy on health and definitely weight and probably 20 to 30 points in fortitude that's up to you though uh, if you are playing PvP, however, the stats do change, weight doesn't become nearly as important, and uh, it's, it, you'll do health like PvE, but you're also going to probably pump more into stamina, and the most underrated stat in PvP is your fortitude, because you can get knocked out very easily by another player, uh, and to add points you just go to the plus symbol to whatever you want to add and you add the points that you want which will take us to our ingrams which are basically learned crafting recipes and make sure you only learn the important ones for example level five is a fiomia saddle if you haven't tamed a fiomia saddle i would not actually learn that just so you know too you cannot learn every ingram that is why it is really important that you only learn the ones that you feel necessary down the road if you don't like what you've learned or uh, for example your points these can all be reset later in the game but it will take a while before you can reset these oh hey in arc you see this green beam that's where I died last that's how you can know to get back to your stuff to get your gear off your body. Now that you're starting out in Ark Survival, you can grab rocks off the ground with Triangle on PlayStation, E on PC, and I don't remember what the control is on Xbox, uh, but it's going to be the same for collecting berries and fiber from thatch, or from the bushes over here. And like any good survival game, you can punch a tree for wood and thatch. And now we're gonna actually go and grab some water here. I'll show you how to do that. Basically, you just hit your use button, whether that's triangle on PlayStation or E on computer, and that's how you drink water. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to start crafting. This is uh, on the left side, so you'll see inventory and crafting. Now you can short, there are shortcuts for this, but you can just hit the crafting to go over here. And if you hover over this, it should tell you what you need for it. And we're going to begin crafting it. 
If it does not tell you what you need, it's because you accidentally hit this toggle tool put tips at some point. One thing to also note that uh, you're going to want to drag your pick down into here. Uh, berries, you do not want to eat the black or the white ones. The other ones are fine to eat. For example, we're going to have to eat here really quick. Oh, right, a pick will gather mostly flint from rocks and from trees it will gather mostly gather thatch also from a body it'll collect mostly meat and then the next thing you're going to want to do is make a axe and the axe will collect mostly wood from a tree and stone from rocks and hide from animals them are some of the bigger things you're going to need to know on the the tool front once you got some armor and gear and whatnot, then you're going to actually going to want to create your tribe. You can actually do this right away if you want. You can rename it. I'm actually not going to. We're just going to create the tribe so I can show you the menu. You can change the governance here. I'm really not going to get into details on that as they're self-explanatory. If you want to rename your tribe, it's the pencil icon and the alliances are uh, the handshake icon. To in, in order to invite people, you just walk up to them, hold your use button, whatever that may be, whether it's triangle or E, and you can invite people and they can accept invites. Oh, hey, your first instinct is going to want to be to tame animals, uh, but that will not help you out right away because they're probably all going to die. You need to actually go kill some low-level iron dinos and you gotta figure out real quickly what you can and can't kill uh, the reason for this is you need to make a bed to even start really building a house otherwise you won't spawn at it and lose it all the time now when you can build your bed uh, you can just start by building your foundations first and putting a bed down right on top of it this green thing is showing where you can build it and this is showing uh, when it turns red that means you can't place it but simply place you can uh, or place it and then snap other pieces to it and you can place items like smithies and beds and whatever you may need to on top of this and walls uh, the building is pretty self-explanatory I'm not going to get into that too much once you have at least a building and probably a fence to keep dinos safe just like this then you can begin start taming dinosaurs to help you out okay folks now that you made it this far i would highly recommend the ed downloading the dodo dex app it's free it'll help you out a lot and to tame dinos most of them most of them not all of them will need to be knocked out by either punching or uh Trank arrows or something like that and you got to keep their unconscious bar down and you can feed them narco berries to keep that bar up as you can see now that bar is currently working its way higher and most dinos will eat berries or meat as I know a dodo eats berries you can see it taming like right so uh, and just make sure that that purple unconscious bar doesn't go down to the bottom now keep in mind that you want to tame dinosaurs because they will help you a lot on their journey just like I said make sure you have a base to keep them safe otherwise they just die a lot I see a lot of new players tame stuff with anything without actually having a base and they lose them all for example too on dinos helping you out these guys lay a lot of eggs and they can help you with kibble this dinosaur right here actually knocks other dinosaurs out uh, and that one in the water, that beaver looking guy, actually is really good at collecting wood. One thing I'd like to add is when you get to level 9 and 10, at 9 bows will really help you. And at 10, uh, bow and arrow obviously helps you kill dust dinos and later on tame them. But a bola at level 9, as you can see in my hotbar, is a very good way to keep dinos from running from you early on to either help you kill them or tame them also when you are getting to this point there are these little notes that you explore notes you will see and they will really help you out with levels for example there I got six levels just from that this is official as well as you can see 
this is official server so you can see you get a lot of levels for it and you gain XP boost for a certain amount of period of time afterward once you get to this part of the game where you have a perimeter and a base and uh, some dinosaurs tamed this is where in the game you will start to die a whole lot less and you'll get more of the flow of the game learning more things and different armors and building pieces that will help you out in the long run. One thing I want to add before I go as you can see I'm getting attacked is in most cases you can actually outrun dinos. Uh, another thing you might want to keep in mind here too is when you're building a base long term you're going to want to probably be wide water so you don't have to get water all the time and you're going to want to be by metal or some sort of valuable resources. Hopefully folks this starter guide really helped you guys out starting out and keep in mind I'm a smaller channel so if you like this content and it did help you out try to drop a like and subscribe. We also do do let's plays on here and other guides so I will leave them on down in the description and hopefully you love your Arcan journey as much as I have. Have a good one. We'll see you next time, folks.